I quit. Actually, by the time this video posts, I'll probably have quit for the past two weeks now. And it wasn't an easy decision to come to, I'll be honest about that. It's been something that I've been struggling with for a couple of months now, of whether or not is this really worth it in the end, or am I just wasting my time? So I finally had to pull the trigger on it and say that I'm done, because there's nothing else for me moving forward here. And let me tell you, it was a really hard conversation to have with my supervisor because I've officially quit my nine to five job and I'm not ever going to be working a nine to five job ever again. So as many of you guys probably know, I've been doing real estate part time for the past seven or eight months now. And something that I realized through doing this is that there's really no such thing as a part-time real estate agent. Working my nine to five job, it was impossible to still be doing showings and actually devoting the amount of time that I should be doing to some clients, which means that I did end up losing some deals and some clients that I really should have been able to devote more time to and give them what they deserved. But as usual, I'm getting ahead of myself. So Let's rewind a little bit. I started working at this clinic back in July of 2020, right when the illness was starting to reach its peak, and I wasn't quite yet licensed for real estate. So I was doing my classes while sitting there because it was a relatively slow job. It was pretty simple, and for $10 an hour, I really couldn't complain for everything that I was doing. I was screening patients, taking their temperatures before they actually went in for the appointment with any of the doctors and making sure that everything was compliant with our rules and procedures along with all the downtime during that, that I was going through my real estate exam, eventually getting licensed towards the tail end of 2020. But just before I was officially licensed, I get a call up from my supervisor. He goes, hey, Mateo, um, I wanted to give you a little call and tell you some good news. Wait, hey, how's it going, Mr. Supervisor? Uh, what's the good news? Oh, Mateo, how would you like to be making $14 an hour? Um, I would actually have that. Yeah, I'd, I'd love that. At this point in time, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. This is the most amount of money that I had ever made in my life. Everything else was minimum wage jobs, working in food. I'd be getting tips, but for a guaranteed $14 an hour, like, that's near livable. I had it really well off for quite a while. I got my real estate license and I started doing some trainings while still over at my nine to five job. I cash flowed through all of my fees and was still able to invest pretty heavily into the market. Right now I'm sitting on about $20,000 in investments alone. And if you check out my video from earlier on in the year, that is much larger than what we originally started with. Granted, this also means that we're very unlikely to end up hitting our investment goal for this year because we're seeing a lot of big changes in my life in general and my financial situation. That's okay, that's why we made really big goals to stretch out. So January, February, March rolls around, I'm still making $14 an hour and I officially have my real estate license in my hand. I can represent several buyers, sellers, there's a couple of people that I had set up beforehand, but I wasn't able to give them really the quality experiences that they deserved as their realtor. May, June, July, then come and go, and I'm starting to do a little bit more work over at my nine to five job. They moved me to the main location and I'm getting the opportunity to actually be growing within the company if I want to. And that's when I started to realize that this isn't where I belong. If I kept on this trajectory, then I'd likely be growing in the company, eventually making $17 an hour, $20 an hour, heck, $25 an hour, which that still sounds insane when I'm not comparing it to the commissions that I might be getting from real estate. What terrifies me about that is that I would get compliant with everything. I would get used to being able to see that consistent figure coming in every single month. One of my biggest fears is that I'm just going to become someone that's working a nine to five job, this repeated routine where nothing changes every day and I'm not gonna be actually communicating with people, interacting with people, working at a desk. That is not what I want in life. So I then had to have a bit of a heart to heart with myself of what does this job really give me? It gives me a consistent source of income of something that I'll be able to get no matter what every single day. But then I have to look at the opportunity cost of everything. By working at this nine to five job, I lost three potential real estate deals 
because I couldn't truly commit to my clients the way that I wanted to. When in reality, just one of those deals would have paid for two to three months of me working over at that job. So I end up limiting my own potential by staying there. I stay there for a little bit longer, making up excuse after excuse saying, well, I, I wanna keep investing. I wanna keep my investments growing. Well, I, I'm gonna make a big purchase right here or there or the other thing, but the thing is, all of those were just that, they're excuses after excuses. By staying there, I wasn't just limiting my income potential, but I was limiting the potential that I could be giving out towards other people. See, I have this promise with my theater teacher from high school that before she leaves, I wanna be able to donate $100,000 over towards the theater. Now, I can't just be giving her my first $100,000 because then I have no room to grow and how am I supposed to further my own finances? What if I could give her $100,000 every single year? Oh, sure, maybe that won't be happening for five, six, seven years. Gary Keller says that you can be anywhere that you wanna be in the next five years. Now that seemed absolutely insane to me until I met a couple of people that joined Keller Williams five years ago and suddenly they're making a lot of money. I went in and I had the conversation with my supervisor. Let's call him Scott, for instance. I said, hey, Scott, I don't know how much longer I can stay here, but I don't want to leave you or this company because I really do love this company. And he told me, you know, what, Mateo, I don't want to see you go either. Here's a raise. You can have it, it's on the table, it's right here. It's more than anyone else is making in this department. But I understand that this is not where you should be in two, three, even one more year. Now I talked to my personal development coach and to myself about this, talking myself out of quitting and back into quitting, but hearing from my supervisor that I really shouldn't be there Knowing that he knows that I should be living up to my full potential over in real estate, that's what really drove me into saying, yeah, you're right, I have to go. But I gave it one more weekend. I told him, Scott, thank you so much for this. I'll, I'll sleep on it for one or two more nights and I'll get back to you with my answer in the end. I slept on it for the entire weekend and then I had to go back to him. I appreciate you and everything you've given me to this company but I'm officially putting in my two weeks notice and I left. I put in my two weeks notice and I quit right there. He appreciated everything that I'd given him. I appreciate everything that he's given me, but now I'm free, just like you should be. I'm free to be making more videos for you guys, to be actually showing properties when I should be, to be taking more listings. I'm free to set my own schedule now. I'm free and have the fear of failing on me now. Because if I don't go out there and make it, well, I have my nest egg of investments I can start pulling out of, but I really don't want to do that. Well, so what's next? What's next for the channel? What's next for me? What's next for you? I'll start with the channel. From now on, you should be seeing two posts a week, every single week on this channel, because I'll have much more time to actually interact and communicate with you guys. For me personally, what's next is I'm going to be out there doing real estate stuff. There's a listing that just went on the market from someone in my office for a million dollars and I would love to give you guys a tour of that. So leave a comment down below if you want to see something like that of what a million dollars gets you in my little small town of Reno, Nevada. Now I have to pose the question of what's next for you? What big changes can I inspire in your life? Maybe you're not looking to do any freelancing or anything like that, working for a 1099 or really just yourself, but I hope that I could at least inspire you to ask for that raise that you think that you really deserve or start communicating with this person, that person, or the other. Maybe you're gonna take a new position or transfer departments change career paths entirely. The choice is entirely yours. If you didn't get anything from this or didn't listen to any of that before, I want you to listen to these next 15 seconds. You and I, we can make excuses all day long, 24 hours a day, but deep down, you and I know what decisions we should be making in life, the things that we should be doing. And 
I hope that I can inspire you to jump on those decisions. Take advantage of opportunities as they come your way. And if you were inspired by this video, please subscribe to follow the financial journey that we're going on together. I had the support of my parents going into this, working over for $10 an hour, $14 an hour, and getting my own real estate license. And I'm documenting the process the entire way through. Originally, my goal was to become from zero to a million dollars by 30, but at the rate that I'm going, you won't have to wait nearly that long. I hope to prove to everyone out there that anyone can do it or make it in this world. All you have to do is set your goals on something and focus. Aspire to be better. Inspire others. And insert another word that starts with or ends with spire here that sounds really motivating. So here I am, sitting here unemployed until I make my next sale or maybe I get monetized on YouTube. Hopefully I make my next sale first. Fear of failure is one of your biggest obstacles in life. All you have to do is jump over it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Check the description for several different links. There's a link down in the description for a Discover card for a free $50 just for signing up for the card, or you can get several free stocks just by signing up down below in some of those referral links. Or if you're ever looking for a house, whether it be in the Reno market or across the entirety of the United States or internationally, I can find a referral for you. Check out my KW link down below and I'll be able to help you or anyone that you may do know with their real estate needs. And without further ado, I hope to see you next time until we continue our financial journeys.